Chumatsu no Valkyrie, or Record of Ragnarok, Volume 1, Chapter 1, Gods vs. Mankind. Seven million years long history of mankind is coming to an end. Are right, two people walking through a hallway? What's the cause? A nuclear warfare? Asteroid collision? Or maybe ill invasion? No. It's about to start, Onisama. Valkyrie 13 Sisters. Youngest sister, Gurir. Valkyrie 13 Sisters, eldest sister, Brunhild. Right now. The mankind is being threatened to its total destruction by none other than the will of its own creators, the gods. The Council of Valhalla, Parliament Building. Look together. Heave ho, heave ho. Puff. Here we go, grrr. Oh ho ho. Come here, cutie. Well then, everyone. The gavel's shaking. It's been 1,000 years since the last time we gathered here. Let's start the conference, shall we? The chairman of Council of Valhalla, Zeus, Greece. Once every thousand years, gods across the realms gather to hold a conference. A conference of mankind's survival. Wow! The gods are all gathered in here. What an amazing spectacle. Right, Hilding Sama? Now, please. Now, let me ask. Regarding the survival of mankind for the next thousand years, at zero for okay? Do we forgive them? Or X for no? Do we just put an end to them? Boo! Show me the will of gods. You want to shoot them and got a bunch of X's? Yep, here. Let's just give them doomsday already, alright? From what I've seen for the past thousand years, God of creation and destruction, Shiva, India. That's third eye open. Mankind doesn't seem to have any intention to repent at all. Trying to guide them is such a pain in the butt. Once we've erased them all, let's try evolving some other animal this time. No way. How could he? True. It just as the uh, CV Sama says. And lady and grope. In the last 1,000 years, the earth has become too ugly. Goss of beauty, Aphrodite, Greece. These are filled with waste and oils. Forests are gone and living beings have become extinct one after another. So to speak, mankind is the most dangerous living cancer on earth. A disaster that will bring earth to its destruction. Is that true? Hmm. Aphrodite is right. Mankind is harmful and evil. There is no saving them anymore. That's right. Let's just end them. Agreed. End them. End. And this is just as what Hild Nisama said before. The will of gods is the end. The mankind is going to There's no way to eject. The will of gods. If the voting of this conference of mankind's survival concludes with unanimous vote or end, hmm, mankind will inevitably be destroyed to a complete total annihilation from the voting X. That the gods will it. There is no possible way for anyone to stop it. Power just blows up. I guess. If I've come to an agreement. It's about to pound the gobble. Then. The end of mankind is deciding. Steps in. Please wait a second. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Valkyrie. It's a Valkyrie, right? Hey, hey. What's up with her? Wait. Where are you going to? What in the world are you doing, Onisama? You can't just say wait a second to the will of gods. Part of my intrusion, here's gods. There's one thing that I have to say. Mind your manners, Brunhild. The crowd's talking. Yikes. You soul, have god. How dare you open your filthy mouth in this conference of gods. Supreme god of Nordic. Odin, Nordic. Hmm, they're saying something. It's true that mankind is unbearably vulgar and violent, but just stern like that. Isn't that a bit... Oi, don't ignore me. Boring. Oh. Whether the survival of mankind has any value or not. With the might and mercy of gods, why don't we test them? Test? Them? How? Do you wish to flood the earth? Or perhaps sending them into ice age prematurely? 
No. I have the more effective way to test them. Oh? What is it? What do you plan to do, you missile? Say it now. Gods versus mankind's final struggle. Ragnarok. Speaking of interest. R Ragnarok? Allah Constitution. Article number 62. Explain in paragraph 15 of this super special clause. 1v1 showdown between gods and mankind. Gods vs. Mankind's final struggle. With 13 combatants for each side. The first side to achieve 7 victories wins. Of course, the moment Mankind lost 7 times, their fate is decided. In an unlikely event that the Mankind wins, they will be allowed to survive for another 1000 years. However, this law has never been applied since the creation of Mankind. The reason for that is because there is no way for the mankind to possibly win against the gods. Told him. Thus, this super special clause was enacted as a mere joke. Did you close the book? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but it seems you Valkyrie really don't understand a thing. The mankind is no match against the gods. The proposal is pointless. That's right. It wouldn't even be a child's play. Why bother finding them at all? This is ridiculous. I didn't even remember that we had such an old law. So, will gods destroy the mankind and also to avoid a confrontation with humans? Am I right? Huh? One of the pride. We want to destroy the mankind without fighting them. We don't want to be put in the same ring as them. Hmm, don't tell me. Are you chicken out? Oh. If so, then I did an unnecessary thing. Sorry, I'm a bad. Huh? Nisama. Go ahead then. Don't listen to me. You're like speechless. Let's forget about the whole Ragnarok stuff. But please stop. What are you saying? Uh, free about the mankind. You'll be executed first. Apologize. Onisama. Onisama. Foo. Not for that. Smirking. Laughing. Foo, foo, foo. Ka, ka, ka. So everyone starts laughing. Noises echoed throughout the apartment like wave. It was a slightly irritated dad who was just playing along with his kids' porn pranks. It was a faint laughter of the gods. Uh huh. Huh? Are they not angry? But still, he he, for his was confident. What's that sound? Huh? Making light of the pride and dignity of the almighty gods. The remark that triggered them was none other than. Are you cheating out? If someone were to suspect that the gods are cheating out against mankind, how dare you, piece of trash? Do you know what you just said, you darn half breed? Are you making fun of us, huh, do you girl? Know your place. It would be the greatest humiliation for them. Ah, of course the gods would be angry. Onisama. What in the world are you thinking? That's right, Brunild was confident. I knew it. Compared to humans. Gods are far easier to taunt. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, I see. Ragnarok, huh? What an interesting proposal. Got a dragon there? Well said. Your proposal was an absolute effing unit. Just breaks the dragon up. Besides, do you think it's been a long time since we have seen the might of gods? This is just twisted. Everybody. What do you think? Shall we hold a showdown between the gods and the mankind? Here. Just bust the gavel, okay? The showdown between gods and mankind, Ragnarok, was decided. Ooh. Okay, now they're going through the halls? What's wrong, girl? Can't stand this anymore, Onisama. Why did you do that? Why did you object the will of gods? And made them angry. You're just asking to get killed. Grr. You're an apprentice, Valkyrie. So you might not understand this yet. The bond between mankind and us, Valkyrie, are deeper than those of the other humans. There's no way I can just defend them. Only Sama. She's risen herself for the sake of mankind, but a tragic Valkyrie. Only Only Sama can do something like this. It's amazing how she's protecting mankind to such an extent. But can mankind really win? 
who you think are going to be the representatives of gods? Foolish question, Gur. The vanguard is sure. Yo, Brunhild. Am I playing? Dream demon. Lust demon. Incubus. What you did at the conference was really something else, huh? I don't know what you were planning, but you better be careful. The gods are cruel and ruthless. Bunch of self-centered a-holes. Trying to get her, okay? But something bad happens. I'll make sure to protect you, okay? Brunhild. Though it depends on your attitude. He has a giant tongue coming out. Huh? And she falls on her knees. He he. That's a nice attitude you have there. I've been very interested in you for a long time. You know, ki 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 ki. I wonder what kind of voice would come out from a prideful, mighty Brunhild. Ki 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 ki. And then start kneeling because of you. Huh? She gets smashed. What the heck? Got blue rated. It's been a long time. Poor Soma. We got the man with the. Got the god with the, the hammer. Nordic's strongest god. Thunder god. Thor. Nordic. Thor? Oh. The thunder god? Thor Soma? What's he doing here? I need to kneel. Or else I'll be. He's. Wait. Brunhild. What are you scheming? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. He's just glaring at her. Oh. Uh, whatever. Don't disappoint me. Or else I'll kill you. I almost pee myself. <laughs> but you seem to be pretty calm, Onisama. Did I really look calm to you? Good then, huh? Oh. Onisama. Uh, let's hurry. We have to choose the 13 most powerful humans. In the seven million years history of mankind, it's impossible, Nisama. What kind of humans can fight against gods that mighty? Calm down, girl. Pulls out a phone. Is she looking through everything? <laughs> Bury decided our vanguard. He should be able to do it. He? I met him on the battlefield. He's probably the strongest. No, the worst. Most barbaric warrior. Huh? N no way. That man. That man is way too dangerous. A hollerina. You got all the gods together? The Watchman Apocalypse. Heimdall. Uh, Nordic. This is a moment that I've been waiting for ages. The moment to blow the... Hold on. The time to open the curtain of, Rag of the Ragnarok is drawn near. Are you ready for this? The rule is it's simple. Fight to death. That's it. The winner is decided by the complete annihilation of the other side. It's about time. Rehild Nisama. The first bout. Introducing the vanguard on the god side. This man. You know? Thor. Everybody knows of this god. Everybody wants to see his maximum power. The Mjolnir can even tear apart the seas and lands. If he's not going to fight, then who else will? Just come in. Live by fighting. Die by fighting. The Nordic strongest. Berserker of Thunder. God. Thor. Crush. And annihilate them. Yikes. As expected, Thor Summer is their vanguard. And then, his challenger? The vanguard from mankind's side he has this man in the thing the gong firm start playing the drums. Who is it? Is he going to end here? The seven million years of footprint? Is he going to be forgotten here? The seven million years of pride? No, no. Hmm? Dust coming in. A horse. This man is channeling the will of mankind. Like talisman them? Hear them out. Who else could do this if not him? Will this man be devoured by the gods? No. He's the strongest man since the dawn of the history. Does anyone have any objections? No. China's strongest hero. Oh. Wait. Bu Ho Sin. 
who hosts in Conan? The Vanguard of Mankind, Lubu. Ryofu Hosen versus the Vanguard of Gods, Thor. Yeah. Nomu Amida Busu. Nomu Amida Busu. Human. You better stop praying. It's the ones that you have to defeat. First bout, Ragnarok. And none other than the gods that are praying to. Begins. Chapter 2 The Strongest God vs. Strongest Human. And now, oh, the battle for supremacy begins now. And now, we bring you the tournament for the fate of humanity, Ragnarok. And right from the start, we got one heck of a match. Representing the gods is the Nord's strongest contender, the Thunder Berserker, Thor. His opponent, representing humanity, is. From the Three Kingdoms, Manny's Vanguard is history's most despicable man. The strongest. Three Kingdoms. Huh. Chicken. Hero. Ryofu. Ocean. This is truly the battle of the strongest. The atmosphere in the stadium is also at maximum voltage. Thorsama. Please destroy that puny human in one hit. God Justice. Persetti. Ryofu, you guy, get out there and tear those trash gods a new, uh, a hole. Huh? A vulgar. Hope. Oh. Is that Kager? Wah. Chohei Eketoku. A Japanese name for Zingfei. Wah. The god, a battle with the gods is a perfect side to the alcohol. Isn't it, brother? Hmm. Ryubi Gintoku? I'm not sure. If it's the strongest of our time, wouldn't it be the man uh, deified as the god of martial arts? Would it not be you? Oh, la wow. Okay. That may be so if uh, we were to consider tactic and strategy ability. However, if it's raw strength we're talking about, and no matter. How you look at it, the strongest, without doubt, is Ryufu Hosen and Kanu Uchin. That being said, his troops never change, do they? Guyanyu. Oh, pip ho, her pip My lord, we shall watch over you today. We shall follow you to battle, no matter where it takes us. If anything, to be able to watch you fight once more. I never thought this day would come. The glorious day. King Gong. Wah! I'm touched. Rif uh, Rifu Army. Rajas. Uh, Chinkyu. Uh, Kodai. Scissor Hilled. Does Rifi even stand a chance? Humans can't. Humans cannot defeat the gods. That's what they're. Th that's what you're thinking, isn't it? Uh, no, that's Fufu. And I'm certain that's also what every single god here is thinking. But that's precisely why humanity has a chance of ramming a fist up the earth. The gods that uh, shanked on them from above. Gods that shanked on them? Gods that shanked on them. Ramming their fist? Ramming their fist. Sometimes her manner of speech gets really vulgar. Okay. Waiting. Okay. For how long have I waited for this day? For the chance to finally use this thorn. Okay, horn, okay. The Herald of the End, Heimdall, held the uh, Jarlar Horn within his wraps. It would be the signal of Ragnarok from, uh, from the Prose Edda. It's finally beginning. The duels between man and the gods. Now, finally. The battle between the two strongest begins. Huh? What the? Huh? The two commandments. Have lowered the weapons. This is. Their cards are down. Neither has taken a stance. And just like that, they're closing the distance. Come over. 
This is an extremely unexpected result. The two continue to approach one another. Oh, neither is interested in the other's opening move. It seems like they are not planning on observing each other at all. <laughs> That's right, all right. Well, that'd be about right. Just expect, my lord. What the heck is with that human? Does he know the meaning of fear? Probably not. Friend? Sister, will you really be all right? If you think. Now he seems to be looking down on Thor. So this is the one known as strongest human. Thor vs. Ryafaya. Born and bred differently. No. From their inception, these two men were different. They only share one thing in common. Their claim to the title of strongest. With a first strike, they aim to annihilate their opponent. Comes down, boom, on the, on the hammer. Blocking it. Ooh, the part. Sitting there again. Having fought through thousands of battlefields. Boom. Stops it. Huh? Flies back. Having defeated thousands of enemies. Those two thought to themselves that the foe standing before them, capable of standing there for strike. Ooh, it's clashing. But the first in a very long time of the damage that they're equal. An equal matchup. An amazing development. That's nuts. That's it, Raifu. I mean humans coming up. Ho ho ho. But it won't be long now. Till Thor unleashes his true power. And back off. His hands turn black. Ah. Oh that's what? What? The cause and lightning come out? What's this? Electricity. Huh? He's putting through his armor. Thor, who is previously without a stance, has now raised his hammer with both hands. Nice hammer. Ah, he's lost the balance. He's falling. Wait. Big stop. He's fine. Is this his battle stance? What the heck is he doing? That's him getting serious. Thor, are you idiot? You really that strong? No, that shouldn't be the case. Or probably. He's just responding to human seriousness. Otherwise, he wouldn't use that on just one man. Thor's hammer. Chapter 2.5 Inch Era, Asgard. The big tree. Asgard is surrounded by enormous walls. This was in order to fend against the giants of Jotunheim. Wow. Darn, this is boring. Hey. What do you mean by that? Captain, I became a guardian angel to fight giants. I just sit on a wall all day. Isn't it a bit too peaceful here? Eat it. That peace is only because we're out here. Defend the wall every day. Jeez. Don't be so stupid when you haven't even seen real combat. But that's just it. I'd be able to do my job if there was some actual combat. Tremors. An earthquake? Huh? Huh? However. Got the giants coming in. It's the enemy. They're here. They're just running them. They've come and knocked on the walls. That year, the Yolton launched an offensive. With an army larger than anything they had ever seen before, they flooded Asgard. Hold fast. Defend the gate with your lives. God of War. Tire? The giant's attacks are too fierce. Are the walls going to hold? They'll be fine. The guardian angels will protect us. Surely. They'll be fine. Or we go right. Sure of it. They're on it. I've never seen so many. They just keep coming. The blast and the arrows. They just keep driving them back. If we lose the gate. It's all over. Don't worry. This gate's impeccable. It's never been breached before. Darn. Huh? Is that big hand? Huh? What the heck? The gate. The walls have been breached. They're pouring into the city, though. We have to, we have to stem the flow here. Uh, don't let them touch the civilians. Remember your training. If we attack from the air, we have the advantage. Hmm? And when it just leaps up, uh huh? It just chows it down. That's enough, darn giants. Cut the wrists and stuff. You'll be facing the guard angel, night brigade. From here on out, and 
Brock just gets thrown. Ooh, just clubbing him. They're even defeating the Knights. Oh, we're done for. Run. Run for your lives. Big up. It's me. Until then, all the attacks, all the attacks from the Giants were easily repelled. As the Giants were reported, attacked independently, they secured all the <laughs> winged folks. And so, after hundreds of years of overconfidence, their own battle experience continued to dwindle. Till eventually, their defenses also waned. Stomp them, which was exactly what the giants had been waiting for. Ah, uh, no, not like this. It's much, ah, ah, conk. Asgard was truly brought to the age of destruction. Hmm? What are we looking at? Please come out. Please come out. God justice. Mercedes. They made it to the castle. They're here. It's over. We're all done for. We won't do anything to We won't do anything to you. Huh? Ah, you. You try to. So open up, please. Um, wait. Where are you? You opened the door? Oh, it's the door. It opened up. Oh. Just comes with the swing of the hammer. Boom. Huh? It's just boom, boom. Poof. Just takes out the stomach. From like the pressure of it. Most easily accomplished task nobody else could complete. What, perme what permeated Thor's body was the prevalent feeling of boredom. Boring. Just destroying them all. Thor wiped out the army of 66 uh, Jolton entirely by himself. Whoa. And since then, the gods have told tales of his glory. Electrifying. Hey, whoa. That was insane. The entire arena is full of electricity. And they bestowed a name upon his, upon his instant kill technique. Playtime is over. Hmm? Show them. They call it. Thor's hammer. Boom. Oh dear. I guess that's it for round one. Whoa. That's Thor Sama for you. He's the beast. Or he's the best, after all. Shh. It's in my mouth. I stopped talking with the big ripples. Ah, hmm. That's the true strength of God? He's five? It's over. No matter how you look at it, even the thought of a human triumphing over a god is foolish, after all. Snap, girl. Sister, no more. I, I can't watch anymore. Don't break your eyes, but watch closely. For this historical moment, for both gods and man, you are pretty good. What, huh? Yeah. You're kidding. Ooh, slashed him. Okay. Blood, blood spouts from Thor's chest. Demon's first strike. Has managed to injure the gods. See that, oh my gods? That's humanity's mightiest warrior. Ray Fu Hosen. My lord's blade. Can't even pierce the heavens. Huh. Chapter 3. Rivals. Ooh, he's touching the scar. Thorsama was injured by a mere human. You're kidding me. What the heck? He's not messing around. At that moment, the same thought crossed Lubu and Thor's minds. Had they been born at the same time and place? No. Had they been, had they ever been of the same race? Hey, you're pretty good. Guy, that strength is wasted on him like you. They could have become rivals. I guess this is, this is backstory. According to the records of the Three Kingdoms, it has been said that Lubu came from a Mongolian tribe. However, if you had to confirm his origin, it isn't just a blade knife. But the one thing we know for sure is that kill Big Wolf. Around the time he first became aware of his surroundings, he departed on his journey to become the strongest. He traveled the vast continent of Eurasia, seeking out any opponent stronger than him. Taking everyone down, bears come in and just jumps at it. And whatever stood in his way was simply 
destroyed it, he broke his neck, annihilated it. He continues his cycle for years. But one day, in the midst of his travels, kind of armor, went in. The name Lubu just secures three eyes. Came to be heard throughout all of the Middle Kingdom. Training. Hmm. Eventually, nothing would stand before him any longer. In exchange, the number of those following him gradually increased. And so, after three years of life, Lubu had come to his journey's end. And in that moment, he finally realized that under all the heavens, there was no longer anything stronger than he. Goes in and, and get hanged, and thus the records go on to state. After a fierce battle with Chao Chao, uh, Ching Gong, Lu Bu was defeated, captured, and taken prisoner. Chao Chao, allow me to lead but one squad of your cavalry, and I shall grant you all that is under heaven. And so he said that his cries rang out as he begged for his life. On that final day. However, we do not know the truth about that story. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Lubu was indeed taken prisoner, but the true cause of his death that day was boredom. Okay. <laughs> Yawning. After coming to realize his strength in the heavens, he fell in despair. Oi, just hurry up and end it, will ya? What's taking so long? You're boring me to death here. <laughs> You're classing again. Ooh. Found you. The one person worthy to be my opponent. It's the first time I've seen the Lord Lubu so happy. He's even smiling. Hmm. How strange. One of the twelve gods of Olympus, Hermes. Susama, is there something about him that interests you? Something impossible has occurred. You're wondering why mere human is able to keep up with God. Oh, shut up already. Don't shout right in my ear. I'm not so old and my ears have stopped working. Mm. There's that. But another issue is that he's up against Thor's Mjolnir. Any weapon made by man shouldn't be just, should, should have been destroyed in one hit. So that should be impossible. So the spirit of the heavens. And made weaponry, but never stand against the vine. Wait a second. Did she give him something? <laughs> Freaking, hmm. I see her plot, Valkyrie girl. You put him even playing field. Sister Susama is looking over here with a creepy smile. It appears he's noticed. Prior to Ragnarok's beginning, relax, girl. I've already decided he managed vanguards. No, it's a bad idea, sister. This guy's way too dangerous. He took so many lives and then called it boring, you know? And even if he was, he was the strongest in all the three kingdoms, does he even stand a chance in a duel with the gods? Not to mention thor -sama? Obviously, he's got no choice. Or no chance. No chance? Obviously. The cheat the gods have up their sleeves is their ability to forge to find weapons, which has been honed within heaven. Cheat weapon, okay. By comparison. The weapons of man are but toys in the face of gods to find weapons. Just break. They they be smashed to pieces in a second. Agur, uh, there's no way in heck uh, that humans could be gods wielding their divine weapons. No way in hell. We're doomed. Oh, she's crying. Oof, 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 you're right there. We're absolutely doomed. So let me ask you this: What if humans had divine weapons? That's right. Only divine weapon can face again can face another divine weapon. You called, dear sister? With other sisters? In accordance with their older sister, Brunhild Sumning, we, Love and Valkyrie sisters, have gathered. Oh, our sisters. This is the first time all thirteen of us have gathered in one place. But why? Uh Ringrids. That put forward, yes? Dear sister, Valkyrie for sister, uh, Rengrids. Sister Chris, Rengrids, I take it you know of Thor Sama's armaments. Of course. Uh, Ringrupper, 
Gollum is capable of standing any attack, and most importantly, Jotun's bane, most commonly known as Nurner, indeed. Those two that Thor's wields are some of heaven's strongest uh, um, um, chiefs. Uh, in, in order to win against Thor Sama, first we must overcome those obstacles. Rengrods, will you pledge your body to me? Poor sister, what pleasure? Pledge your body? Wait, she this peer? Well, what's this? Blue Blue Sky Piercer? A star releasing light? Hmm, as I thought. What's that weapon? That's right. There is the secret power of a sister's. Our counter to the god's cheat is our pharaoh's cheat. A Valkyrie's body may take the form of a human weapon, meaning that man may obtain their own divine weapon. The power is called. Goldlund. An immortal opponent. And an unbreakable blade. Ooh. That kind of sell. That kind of settings. It's the best, ain't it? So try to stab him. A weapon that has become divine will take on the traits of the Valkyrie it possesses. The fourth Valkyrie's name is Rengrutz. The meaning is Shield Breaker. It's breaking his gauntlet. Boom! Shattered. Divine weapon. That's right. It's party time. <laughs> she actually said that. Chapter 4 13 Gods, 13 Mortals. Mirner, the strongest of the divine, capable of sharing earth. As if lava itself, overwhelming power flows from it, bringing destruction to his fair wielder. And thus, Thor wielded the Jungler to protect his own two hands from the Prozetta. Uh, uh, your group for uh, the perfect foil to Milner. In other words, heaven's strongest garment. And it clashing. As to say, Lu, Lu Bu's own blade has managed to mash the Grenoblur to bits as if it were a bag of potato chips. This is very, this very situation should be impossible. Ah, huh? I mean, heck yeah. See that, God? That's our strongest right there. You pee yourself now? Brother, it's not back. The time for celebration is yet to pass. Or, I'd like to say, but as one who shared an arrow with him, one who got to know that man, I simply cannot deny this burning pride in my chest. Got the flags up. Boom, 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 boom. My lord. Oh, my lord. Such a wonderful attack. I thought so myself. But you truly are enjoying yourself. So there truly was meaning in dying together with you. Your favorite from the Three Kingdoms. That's the way. Beat the trash out of him. Lupu is one heck of a guy. He really effing and strong. In that moment. All of Manny sundered or shuddered. Okay. For the first time in history. No. For the first time in human existence. Humanity had surpassed their creators. Whoa. I see. So that's the extent of their scheme. Oh, you've noticed? The sword, the sworn duty of the Valkyrie is the guidance of souls. They sent upon the earth, taking note of humanity's finest words and leading them to Valhalla, where, in preparation for an assault against heaven, they formed an army of the gods. However, just as a puppet or a doll. In the same times, a certain rumor has been floating throughout history, or throughout heaven. It says that the Valkyrie's goal never was to form an army for heaven. Instead, the warriors summoned to Valhalla uh, bonded with the Valkyrie, and the Valkyries would transform themselves into the most fitting weapon for their wielder. In exchange for the power of the uh, god, the warriors would offer their fair being, just twisting it, that exchange was said to be called Boland. Hence, the souls gathered of the Valkyrie. Just smashing them. Uh, were granted power to fight the gods. 
that is the essence of this Ragnarok, correct? Yes, that's right. Those uh, little girls against us mighty gods. This is a rebellion. Ooh, but to think that the Valkyries would seriously turn their blades on us. It's so. This is just the greatest thrill I've had ever since the Big Bang. Okay. Right? Ruru. Brailed, John. Quit staring over here, creepy motherfucker. Easer. Oh. Hmm. What's that? What? Smoke? Hey, what? Huh? Drew healed. Th that's. Ooh. Numbers down. Murner is crumbling. N no, that's. The. Or calcium. Or calcium? It's melting like lava. This is amazing, folks. This is like in Legends. It's white hot. Stand close by it. But why now? Well, in any case, Thor Sama has, has now lost one side of his, of the Jundrick River. Uh, he even willed Mirner anymore? But that would mean that he can't use his signature move anymore. Thump. What's this? What? What's that sound? Oh, hmm? thump. What is? It's pulsing. This is insane, folks. Mirner is pulsing before our very eyes. Finally, you've awakened. Boom. Reckon? It's got veins. What? Huh? Is that thing alive? Oh, -ho. so Mirner has finally awakened, huh? Awakened, you say? How strange. See, there's a slight misunderstanding in the legends about Mirner and uh, Jurgerber. The gloves, pr the gloves propose, or the gloves' purpose wasn't to protect Thor from Mirner. Instead, it was actually there to so take out the gauntlets. We'll need this. Wait, what? In order to protect Mirner, prior to its awakening, from the weight of Thor swinging. Oh, come on, sleepyhead. It's awakening, one-handed, unbelievable, human. No. Your name is Lubu, right? I have one request to make. Come in. Don't die on me now. <laughs> Lubu has finally gotten Thor to unleash his absolute final form. What will happen next? This battle is quickly rushing to uh, to result that not even the gods will know. Huh? The music playing? Ah, that's not loud, you know? You have to turn your phone off while in the cinema. Boom, she's flashing. Um, hmm? what the? It's here. A list of combatants for Ragnarok. Huh? The, this is it? The 26 names that we, we just, that will decide everything? And the countdown decide the fate of humanity. To all of humanity, there are the final 13. Okay. Zeus, Buddha, Loki, Apollo, Poseidon, uh, Susano, no, Mik, Mikoto, Thor, uh, Biza, Monton, Anubis, Odin, Isilbub, Eva, Hercules, versus Quinshi Huang, King and Leon Leoninus, uh, Nikola Testa, or Nikola Tesla, uh, Sasaki Kojiro, right in Tamiman, Adam, uh, Gregory Rasputin, wait, Lubu, Okita, Loji, Michael Notoramus, or Michelle Notoramus, I don't know, Nemo, Ayaha, uh, Sakata, Kintoki, Jack the Ripper, Final, Ufu, no, Greer, one day, these words will be known as the Ernagar, Heaven's Mightiest Gods, and the Ernagar will gather in this arena. And that's then Volume 1. Wow. So, gods want to annihilate the humanity. And so, Brunhild like, came up with that she didn't like, bring a coup to the gods. Huh.
All right. Um. And Lubu's like, <laughs> next, like contending with Thor, with Hammer. The strongest of all. Hmm. We be match. All right. Uh, well, I'll end there. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, if you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.